February of 2009 was an historic month for our country. We had a, just inaugurated our first black president, and also the cost of gasoline was only about $1.84 a gallon. Now, in the summer of 2012, auto gasoline is predicted to exceed $4 a gallon. As a comparison, a gallon of milk in February 2009 cost $3.58. It may surprise you to learn that the average cost of a gallon of milk decreased by about a penny from February 2009 to December 2011. So why is a gallon of gasoline going to increase almost two times from February 2009 to the summer 2012, while the cost of a gallon of milk is going to go down by about a penny during that same period? The answer to that question may surprise you. You see, milk operates on a free market system. Farmers are free to create more farms and breed or buy more milk producing cows at any time. The more supply of milk that we have, the lower the cost of the milk at the grocery store. So the farmer makes more money selling more gallons of milk and we as a consumer get a gallon of milk for less money than we did almost three years previously. That is the free market system. A gallon of gasoline does not work on the free market system. It is heavily regulated and taxed by federal and state authorities. For example, the federal and state tax on each gallon of gas in, in the state of California is almost 55 cents. So if you go to a store, you buy 20 gallons of gasoline at the pump, it will cost you $11 in taxes for that one tank of gas. Now, unlike the milk farmer, who can breed or buy more cows, the federal and state governments do not allow oil companies to drill and produce all the oil that we need in the United States. That policy significantly increases the cost of a gallon of gas. Also, refineries are needed to convert crude oil into auto gasoline. The federal and state governments, along with environmentalists, have stopped the USA from building a U.S.-based refinery since 1976. Now, to put things in perspective, 1976 was eight years before LeBron James was even born. We have added more than 100 million people in the United States since 1976. That means we need more autos, more airplanes and trucks to get that gallon of milk to the grocery store. U.S. companies not, are not allowed to produce or refine oil, and that restriction is imposed by our own government. Now, what can you do about this? There's really only one thing you can do about this problem, and that is to elect federal and state politicians that will allow companies to drill and refine oil. There is a very simple test to decide whom you should vote for. Ask a politician about their energy policy. If they talk about green energy and windmills, you should do two things. First, do not cast a vote for that politician. And second, give him or her a copy of a book named Don Quixote, which is about someone else that also wasted a lot of time chasing after windmills. Let's work together to try to get the cost of gasoline down to about $1.50 a gallon. Please vote in the next election for someone that will give us cheaper gasoline by using our free market system. Thank you.